Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the what is in fact the final concert of our, our winter series. Um, you'll be pleased to know if you've been a regular that we've achieved our target of raising a thousand pounds through the concerts, and we haven't. <laughs> And we haven't had this one. Actually, you're very fortunate because had Easter not fallen on the last Sunday of next month, we would have had another one, and then you'd be listening to me play the trumpet. So you've got away with that really well. Um, <laughs> but it's my great pleasure and privilege to welcome Darren. Darren's my son. He's also Lynn's son as well. Um, <laughs> And uh, this is a real, real thrill for me. I've not heard Darren play uh, a concert of, of, of serious sorts for a long time. And I'd also like to introduce you to the chair. If you look upon this chair, this chair is quite amazing. It's made of cherry and was also made by my daughter. So there you go. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to hand over to Darren and he's going to talk you and play you through the first half of the concert. And with any luck, if you're still here, he'll play you through the second half after that. Okay, so thank you very much, Darren. getting set up and picked up my guitar and strummed through and everything had sounded awful and apparently Connie had just been sat fiddling with my tuning thing. <laughs> so um, it might sound a bit iffy for a little while while it gets settled again. So I thought, I thought for today's concert, I'd like to um, play some of the music that I love best and um, some of the music I've played throughout my life, really. When I, when I first started playing the guitar, I remember going on a holiday with the Fletchers with this book of music and, um, and playing these, these beautiful folk songs, which are from the north of Spain. And um, that was actually a, a Christmas song. It was called The Child and His, and His Mother. Um, and uh, I'm going to play three more from this book. Um, I'm going to play a, a folk song from the Ladre region, um, a, a song called El Testament d'Amelia, which is, um, I don't know what happened to Amelia, but it's not a happy tune, so um, <laughs> you can leave it to your imagination. 
And, um, and then I'll, I'll finish with a, a, a song from the spring called La Filadora.
quite glad that one's out of the way. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. So I'm going to stay in Spain now. I'm going to move to what is perhaps my favourite suite of music that I've, um, that I've ever come across. It's, um, it's a set of pieces based on the poems called Platero y Yo by Juan Ramón Jiménez, um, which is not easy to say. And um, basically, Platero y Yo is a, a series of poems that he wrote as he went around Spain with his donkey called Platero. And for some reason, they've captured the imagination of a number of composers. And um, Eduardo Sanz de la Mata wrote a, a series of eight pieces um, based on those poems. So I'm going to play three of the eight. The first is called El Loco, which is the madman. Um, the second is called La uh, Paseo, which is, uh, I think, just a stroll. And the final piece is, deals with the death of Platero, which is rather sad. It's called La Moet. Um, but it's a... What I love about the, these pieces is they they're not obvious. The, 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 the musical themes aren't necessarily as you'd expect. So La Muette is just very beautiful. It's almost as if Sanz de la Mata is just reflecting on how much he loved Platero rather than the sadness that he feels because he's gone. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, this is apparently the last one of the half. That seems to have gone really quickly. Is it 25 minutes? I don't know. Anyway, mum. Um, <laughs> It's like being at home, really. Um, so we're moving into South America now. This is a, a, um, a tango from Argentina written by um, an Argentinian called Astor Piazzolo, who was famous for taking the tango out of the, 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 the places that it was traditionally played in, like brothels and nightclubs, and taking it into the concert hall. Um, this is more a, a return to its origins, if I'm honest. Um, but it's a, a tango in, in, a, as an ode to spring, Verano Porteño. And then we'll have cake.
of you who haven't been to a concert before, tea and cakes will be served through this door. Well, not served through the door. You go through the door, and they will be served the other side of it, okay? Please don't bring any fruit or drinks back into here. Just eat them in the hall, please, and that's great. So we've got plenty of time to enjoy coffee and cake, tea and cake, um, and, uh, or any combination of cakes. So please make your way through now, and thank you very much. Sometimes you just have to stay close enough. It's uh, one of the um, frustrations of being a guitarist is having to tune it every 13 seconds. But um, lovely. Well, it, um, it's just lovely to be here because actually the last time I did a charity concert was for a charity that our church supports uh, in India. Um, and um, I had the privilege, having done the concert, to go out and visit um, the charity that we that we support, and to see the the work that, and the 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 way that the, the, what is raised is spent. It does go such a long way, and I can just say um, I would really encourage you to, to give what you can. It's uh, it's amazing the difference and the, the gratitude that it's received with. So it's lovely to be here and support and help you support them as well. Um, the second half, we're moving into South America, and um, we're going to spend most of our time there. Um, I'm going to start by playing two Venezuelan waltzes by a composer called Antonio Lauro. Uh, he, um, he wrote most of his music for the guitar. He was a, he was a virtuosic guitarist. A lot, a lot of guitar music is writ written by guitarists. Um, and this is a, this is, these are two examples of waltzes from Venezuela. The first is called El Negrito, which is an, a tribute to his black-haired son, Luis, and, um, and the second is, um, is a tribute to the family cat, La Gatica. Thank you. 
these next three pieces are by a, a Mexican composer called Manuel Maria Ponce. And um, he, he um, is quite unusual, because I mentioned that most um, classical music, guitar classical music, comes from classical guitarists themselves. Uh, Ponce wasn't a guitarist at all, um, but he formed a relationship with the great Spanish guitarist Andres Segovia, um, who pioneered Ponce's music. And as such, I think some of Ponce's music is, is so different because it, it, it doesn't feel like it's written for the guitar. It feels like, dare I say it, real music. Um, these are some of the lighter examples. These are three popular songs, t two of which are traditional Mexican songs. Um, the third is uh, the second, Ponce snuck in there. It's actually a composition of his own. Um, it's a love song called Potimi Corazon, which means for you, my heart. Um, I mentioned earlier that um, I don't normally play for music. Um, it's kind of a tradition among classical guitarists that you don't play for music, you, you sight read, but um, sight read, you, you play from memory. Uh, since I had kids, I can't remember anything, so um, <laughs> I've, I've been really struggling to memorize. So, this whole con <laughs> the first time I ever played a whole concert for music, but um, I'm hoping that enough has stuck to, uh, to get through these okay.
So th this, um, these two pieces are, are um, by the Brazilian composer Aitor Vila Lobos, which is probably the only composer on this program that you've probably heard of, if, uh, if you know your Spanish music or classical music. Um, he, he's one of the few classical guitarists that made it into mainstream um, popularity. Um, and uh, these are two um, preludes from his five preludes that were dedicated to his wife, Mindinha. Um, I'm playing the first and the third in the opposite order. And um, the third one is an homage to Bach. And the, uh, the first one, I don't know anything about it, but I, I think it's really nice.
I'm going to play one more piece, um, and this is a, another piece from Brazil, written by an Argentinian, and it's um, and it's um, simply called Danza Brasileira, and it's kind of fun. So I hope you like it. And just to say thank you so much for coming. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a real pleasure to play. I, I, I don't do it as much as I'd like to anymore. So it's lovely to, uh, to come and play for you. Um, and uh, thank you very much.
and after 10 minutes we had to find him a proper teacher. Um, so thank you very much. Darren, come and take another. That's great. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you very much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves too. You never know, we might be persuaded to do another series of concerts at some time. Um, they've been great fun. And if we can ever think of a decent cause, like my new car fund or something, um, that, that would be absolutely great. Thank you for coming. Those of you who have supported the whole series, or as many as you can, it's been lovely to see you all these many times. Those of you who have come for the first time, you've missed six other, five other treats. Um, so it has really been a terrific e e uh, afternoon. So thank you, Dar. Thank you for the kids for being so good too. They don't see their uncle play very often. So that's been really great. Thank you very much for coming. I hope you've enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you. Three C's is always here. Okay, God bless you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>on behalf of 3C Community Church, I'd like to thank Stuart, actually, for organising this series. So, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's kind of the Oscars season, isn't it? So thank you as well to all the ladies who helped with the cakes and the tea, not just this time, but all the other concerts. Okay, thanks very much. Safe journey home.